the end war you warned of has begun. Tell me, old friend, what is it you have learned? I have witnessed the end of all things. Horrific legions of hybrid, raising world upon world. In the darkness, lording over them a shadowy form. Amon. Yet, you spoke of a way to stand against him. This vision was a benevolent one, as if an ancient voice called out from beyond. The Keystone shall usher you unto O. Keystone? I saw a burst of light revealing the Zelnaga artifact on the Terran world of Korhal. It is the Keystone of this vision. The prophecies speak of Zelnaga standing against Avon in the end times. I believe this keystone will guide us to them. I have always trusted you, Zeratul, but the burdens of leadership demanded much of me. There are times I am uncertain whether I was truly ready for such weight. Your doubt is unfounded, young Artanis. You must embrace what you have become if you are to be the leader we now need. You will go to James Raynor on Core Hall and receive this keystone. I will marshal our forces for the war ahead. When you return, the Templar will be ready. Entaro Tassadar, old friend. And Taro Artanis, brother. Zeratul, you must secure the Zelnaga Keystone from James Raynor. My forces will reactivate the Spear of a Dune, a warship that will be invaluable in the battles ahead. May Tassadar's shadow hide you, my friend. in ruins. What has transpired here? Zerg, protect the Dark Prelate. Hmm. The Zerg in this area should have been eradicated. Stalkers, hurry to the Nexus Point nearby and warn our brethren. I must investigate this further. Alright. <clears throat> here's, a, here's a little bit of a test of your um, Glink Micro. And if you do exactly what they did in the cutscene, it's horrible. In, in case you're wondering what you're supposed to be doing, it's when their shields get low, you can see by the little bar, you blink them to the back line so someone else takes damage. The enemy surrounds us. Proceed with caution. Now the guy with the full shields is now going to be the guy who's taking damage. So, like, none of these guys are really taking HP damage. And that's all you have to do to really get past this. I mean, realistically, I could just wait for the shields to go back up, because they actually don't go up that slowly, and there's no time limit here, but I mean, I think I'm fine. We do want to wait a second here, though, because uh, we want our blink to be up through them. Also, kind of micro like this. There we go. Disruptors upon them. And this time I'm actually I'm splitting them up so that they can't bounce to each individual stalker. You can also disjoint the projectiles as well and some other stuff. If you're really if you're really into it. Zeratul, the Templar stationed here. I can no longer sense them within the Kala. Is that not impossible? Your kind cannot disappear from the Kala, unless your nerve cords are severed. Then the impossible has happened. I can no longer sense Artanis. There is only a void in the Kala where he should be. The shadow moves against us, Executor. Artanis is in grave peril. 
You must raise an army and find him. My face smith, Kerax, will help you re-establish this nexus point. Zeratul, save Artanis. So, oh, first, first things first. Uh, oh yeah, we need a pylon. Dark prelate Zeratul, I am Kerax of the Kali cast. Friend Karax, we must establish this nexus as quickly as possible. I be cold is the void. Anyways, um, we get the better chrono boost now, uh, which is now just a passive thing on structures all the time. Thank fuck for that, because uh, I I hate the the other kinds of um, uh, chrono boost where you have to manually like use the energy. So excellent, we can be now lazy about it. Uh, <coughs> so. Do you guys need the flowchart again? I hope I certainly hope you don't, because uh, yeah, we. Uh, I wouldn't say we're gonna make a lot of zealots. I think I think we're now gonna be a little bit more stalker heavy, uh, but we do only have one gas here, so uh, it's something to keep in mind. We need to keep the probes coming. We also have Carax, the infamous uh, destroyer of worlds. Now nah, he just he's, he's a co-op uh, commander that's like really into photon cannons and shit like that. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, no rush to go anywhere. We're just gonna chill out here and make make buildings and resources. And we're gonna strong economy, strong economy. Uh, oh yeah, we can build next to nothing here. We can't even make warp gates. Where we're all about the gateways right now. Just kind of like the the one mission where we we don't get anything. Probably want to start mining gas soon. Let's make a stalker and a, a zealot as well. And now we're gonna actually have to make a pylon, so never mind. As I said, consult the flowchart if you have any confusion. I mean, I mean, in this one you can kind of you can just do whatever the fuck you want. I mean, this is not exactly like the hardest brutal mission in the world. Uh, as I said, you can wait until you have 200, 200 stalkers and then and then move out. You know. I'm just, I'm kind of just, I work on economy always first before I do anything else. And we can also do zealots now. Yeah, let's start doing gas. Oh. Before this guy does gas, he's going to make a, another pylon. Alright, so normally the way I work my hotkeys is I kind of have my nexus on number four. I just kind of got used to that. Usually three is production buildings, but in this case we don't have any specialty units, so you can actually I can make that three as well. I don't care. Usually three is production buildings, four is nexus. Although if we had warp gates, it'd just be W, and then one is army. Although I can just press space twice. I also have that set up. It's my weird hotkeys that I have for this game, and I always set them rallied on like a stalker. The Zerg are moving to attack. Rally your defenses. And there you go, nobody really loses health except for the Zealots. You didn't have enough of them. Alright, we need to we need to now make uh, some more gateways. Uh, and also pylon. That this base has no feng shui, I'm sorry. These things do not matter to me. We could probably use one more gateway, but it's fine. We need more pylons though. And we're we're completely done with this, so what do we do with the chrono boost after that? Just put out one of your gateways. There's literally nothing else you can do with that. I'm gonna make just two more pylons and then we're good. Alright, let's start moving out. Oh hey, we have edge lord pylons. It should be able to summon my Nerazine brothers. Dark Brilliant. We answer your call. Alright, we can use one more gateway, and I think we're basically done with that. There's no reason for these guys to ever move off again. And before you... so yeah, we have a pilot. I don't know if this actually gives me anything, but... Anyways, we can blink over here. Hey look, you got a couple more things. That you can kind of grab here. I think there's like Easter eggs here somewhere, I don't know. Nah, I don't see any. I mean, this is very interesting. I, I haven't really looked at the... Yeah, fuck, I just do that. By the way, we're making exclusively uh, Zolots for the moment. Alright, 
Okay, maybe Stalker's on number two. That's my specialty unit, I guess, this time. There we go. Invaded the Bandman. Oh, actually, I did not set Hockey's up at all properly. Okay. I kind of fucked up my Hockey's, apparently. So that's how we're just making exclusively Zods right now. It's just because they everything keeps dying. <laughs> they just keep going down. I'm gonna make a couple stalkers too, because we have enough money for that. To be honest, we could probably afford like a, to have a, another gateway, now that I think about it. Like, you see how much I have queued up there. But then again, I think we're gonna run out of uh, other stuff much sooner than that uh, supply. It'd be nice if we sniped the Banelings, but... That would require a slightly more micro for me. I'll try. What the hell do we keep shooting? Let me just get a couple more uh, results in there. Okay, I'm gonna make one more game with him. And we can stand to make uh, two more pylons here. Better too many than too little, that's what I say. We're gonna back up because they're chasing us now. We don't have to be in range of that shit. I love stalkers so much. They're actually pretty cool units. Probably be way better than the. Uh, uh, from the, their predecessor Dragoons, although Dragoons have more personality to them. Stalkers are just edgy. Ah, oh, there we go, now we're running out of minerals. But we, you get a couple of resources just by being on the map, so that's also kind of good. Do we need to kill this? Probably not. You can do it because you're bored. Or something along those lines. I'm gonna just blink up here. Oh no! Edgy pylon. Another void pylon. We are at your service, Zeratum. I think he said Zeratum. Very well. Feral, Feral Zerka. Yeah, I don't think we can go over here. No, can't teleport to location. State thy bidding. We stand what was that Zergling's plan? Denier of the Kala. Die! So I'm just continuing to pump out units while we're, uh, yeah, so you're just kind of rallying over, which is nice. We are one with the shadows. Zealots have been corrupted. The hybrid must be behind us. Let us move with purpose. Now nah, it's not good to blame the hybrid for literally everything. Not like they're Hitler and trying to destroy the galaxy or something. Oh, uh, I was just about to micro that one back. Alright, there we go, now we got these guys. We just need Zealots, like, exclusively. And, last pylon. This appears to be the last void pylon in the area. From the shadows we come. We are one with I am the heart. Oh, one more. We're just gonna keep making Zealots. Nothing else. We have way more stalkers than we can actually afford. I wouldn't say afford, but way more than we can sustain in terms of like, because uh, they, they, they have trouble getting us around on things now.
My life for ire. It's a good soundtrack. My life for ire. My life for ire. They're just staggered enough that they fucking keep doing that. We move unseen. Yeah, there's a couple more coming. Cold. Executor Salendus, I have encountered your missing Templar, but they have been corrupted. As if possessed. Salendus. Sense your presence. The collar is filled with rage. My mind is being consumed. Artanis, you must hold on. We are coming for you. Your lies are meaningless, purposeless. I grant you salvation. Yeah, they're getting converted over, so we can just run away. The voices whisper of oblivion, of salvation. Burdens color, fury, and rage.
hey, t- second mission end and Zertel's already dead. Oh, what a fucking great record. Does anyone ever truly die in this game? Fucking hell. Uh, fucking bullshit, whatever. At least he had a good kind of ending death, unlike some other characters from other games uh, that rhyme with Biablo. Uh, fuck. Rest in pieces, Deckard Kane. All right, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, take care.